sick of remakes yet? I'm going to pretend you're aggressively shaking your head yes and agree with you. Let's talk about it on this episode of Honey, I Remade the Movies. It's a working title. Brought to you by Guru Hub. According to the website Den of Geek, which I presume is a credible source as it has geek in the title, there are currently 126 remakes slash reboots in the works for the next few years. As I look through this list, the word insulting comes to mind. And I'm not alone in these thoughts. Other people on Twitter feel the same way as I do. So there. I don't know why I'm mad at you. You didn't do anything wrong. Noah Spence says, The Robocop remake does everything wrong you can do for a remake. Let's make him slicker and darker because we're edgy. Let's take away the R rating so we can milk him for even more money. Let's shove in social commentary where the first film parodied social commentary. I just hated it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm with you. Johnny Bello says, Psycho. Why did they even try to do that in color? Color yourself disappointed, Johnny boy, because it's not stopping anytime soon. Alfred Hitchcock's other classic, The Birds, is reportedly being produced by Michael Bay's company. So expect a three hour, $250 million budget featuring giant flying mechanical creatures that blow up next to American flags. A new fugitive is in development. It's a bit murky as to whether or not this is a remake, a reboot, or an actual sequel. But one thing we can be certain about, if Harrison Ford is back, he's going to be killed off. That's what he does in movies now. Highlander and Dune are certainly nostalgic, quotable films with hardcore fans. Might as well redo them for no f***ing reason other than name recognition. Rambo New Blood, you heard me, already has a director and a script picked out. Then there's Cliffhanger because Point Break was already remade. There's a new She's All That in the works. She's all that. Why? How? Why? Short Circuit. People want this. Sister Act. F you, Hollywood. We never even got a Sister Act 3 to complete the epic trilogy. I wanted to know what happened to Whoopi and her best friend, Nuns. Disney alone is planning on live action remaking most of their hit properties. Aladdin, Lion King, Mulan, and most likely another Beauty and the Beast. B&B, &B, I call it that now for this one time only, proves that originality means nothing. As long as you remind the audience of 90s magic, <laughs> the sky's the limit and so is the box office revenue. I didn't care for the 2017 Beauty and the Beast. I found it to be a soulless, joyless cash grab that reminded me of how much better the animated film was. Disney certainly doesn't care what I think, as it was the second highest grossing film of 2017, just behind their other cash cow, The Last Jedi. Spider-Man Homecoming and It also cracked the top 10. To be fair, I enjoyed both of those, especially It, whose previous version was a two-part miniseries with a very low budget. So that one was due. That one made sense. Almost every single other film in the top 10 was of the superhero version. Variety. Logan, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Thor 3, Wonder Woman, and Justice League. So buckle up, because 2018 is going to be a whole lot of the same thing. Here's an all-encompassing review of some of the reboots that came out in 2017. Baywatch, Flatliners, Power Rangers, and The Mummy. They sucked. Now, while I was pretty down on most of this episode, I don't think all remakes, reboots, whatever, are created equal. The new Planet of the Apes films are solid, and some of the older movies we consider great today were remakes to begin with, such as 1982's The Thing. I would just like to see a bit more care and thought put into these properties before rushing out to make that quick buck. Thanks for watching Total Recall, working title, brought to you by Guru Hub. Now let's end with a couple more tweets. The Shaggy Dog. Tim Allen is at his most grating, with crappy effects like that CGI tongue. A complete dumpster fire. Theodore Turnquist has a bone to pick with The Last Airbender. My god, that movie was garbage. It didn't capture the heart and spirit of the cartoon. And lust we forget, Fant Forstick. You were the worst. <laughs>